Okay, before we begin, I would just like to say a huge thank you to M Factory who contacted me in regards to doing the videos for the products. I really do appreciate the opportunity that they have given me. These are the same people that I ordered the fork preload adjusters from back last year for my Yamaha MT-07. They have a ton of parts and mods and all kinds of stuff on the eBay store for just about any bike you can think of. They also do laser engraved parts such as screen and fairing bolts in many colours for many brands and different types of bikes, R6, SV and so on. There's another company called MC Motor Parts who also do many laser engraved parts, clutch and brake levers and bar ends and mirrors and so on. They also do a ton of other parts that you could need for your motorcycle. You can also do a search on the website for a specific make of motorcycle or a specific model and year of motorcycle. You can also do a search on the website for a specific part. So please sit back and enjoy these videos. I've been sent some products by the wonderful people at M Factory. They have this eBay store where you can find just about any part you want for any bike you like. It's good stuff. They also sent me through some uh, stickers and this really cool looking keychain thing. So all these parts will fit the Yamaha MT-07 from the first year of manufacture right up to the current day. So with that being said, let's get it on. We're going to be doing the Yamaha MT-07 rear axle sliders. Now these are for the Yamaha MT-07, they do do them for many other bikes as well. But just before you buy them, you're just going to want to check that your motorcycle has the hollow axles, both front and back. Most modern bikes have this, some older models might not. So just double check you have these before you go shopping for these parts. As you can see, it comes reasonably well packed. This has got little soft bits so nobody stabs themselves during delivery or transit. As we uh, open the box here, you can see there are two individual bags. So these are all the parts that you can receive uh, when they come. These parts here are CNC machined aluminium. So they're not molded anyway. I don't know why, but I just prefer CNC parts. I think uh, some extra level engineering has gone into them. <laughs> I feel they give a better finish as well. Overall, they look identical. There's no difference between them. Uh, they have two grub screws in the side there. These are the parts that go onto the rear swing arm uh, into the holes that you have on the back. Uh, they, they should fit fairly snug. These parts here are made from a type of plastic called Delrin. It's very hard wearing, uh, absorbs impact really, really well. Very tough, very durable. Should protect your bike in the event of a spill. When you look at the back side of these, these have, I don't know if you can see it, but they have a thread inside. So they're pre-threaded for the bar. Another thing is this bar is actually cut to size, which is really good. They sent it already, you know, measured out, perfect. So you haven't got to cut it down or anything like that. Now, I really like these um, over my old ones. So yeah, these offer a cleaner finish. So basically what you do is if I just take that off there, you get your Dalrin part and you just thread it on. That's it. There's no visible nuts, nothing. This is one of the reasons why I like these so much is they give you a nice finish. A nicer look, you know? That's just me, that's just me. Oh! <laughs> just rolled off the table. So yeah, that's that. They should take less than five minutes to install. <laughs> but uh, I'll still show you the process of installing them. Myself, I know I'm going to enjoy the look of these because they offer a cleaner finish than most other ones I've seen. Uh, a great level of protection, great quality CNC aluminium parts, pre-cut bar. Does it get any easier than that? And the sweet thing is, all you need is that. A 1.5mm Allen key. That is it. No spanners, no hacksaws. So let's go put it on the bike, see how it looks.
Okay, so with the studded bar, I used a bit of thread lock. You probably don't need to use this, but I thought I'd use it anyway. And then you're going to want to put the Delrin end on and get that down nice and tight. And then put it all together and slide it into the rear axle. And then on the other side, you want to put a bit more thread lock. Then I put my grub screw on the bottom of the bracket because I didn't want to be able to see it. And then you just tighten it and tighten it until you can't tighten it anymore. And then just give it one double check tighten at the end there. And then you get your 1.5 millimeter Allen key. Locate your grub screw. And then tighten up the grub screw. And then you're done. It is really that easy. So if you like this video, slap a like on this bad boy and I'd really appreciate it. I'm hoping to get more videos of this nature and to get some motor vlogs done in the near future. So watch out for the next one and I'll catch you soon.